Hello, my friends. How are you recently? It's been really hot in Paris last two days, almost forty degrees during the day. Last week, I've been working on a commission painting for book cover. This book will be published next year in January, and I can't wait to share my whole process with you guys once it's done. It's really nice to work with this publisher because he never asks for a specific style in advance. Usually, he just sends me the manuscript and asks me to propose something based on my own interpretation. He even encouraged me to try different art styles as long as it goes with the content. I feel very lucky to be able to work with him, because I know a lot of illustrators are pressured to find their own style, and stick to that style for as long as possible to be distinctive and recognizable on the illustration market. There are so many tutorials on YouTube teaching people how to find their style. Strangely, I never struggled with finding my style as an artist. I believe that every artist naturally has their own unique style. Because in the whole universe, there is only one you. Have you ever been to figure drawing classes? From my own experience, if the teacher don't give any restrictions on how to draw, then in the end of the drawing session, everyone will draw in their own way. But if the teacher impose a certain drawing style, let's say a Renaissance paint drawing style, then every student will try to imitate this style, and in the end, everyone's drawing just look the same. So our style is just as simple as that. It's how we do things. It can be very intuitive, organic, and personal, but also can be cultivated and shifted if necessary. I think our style is developed under intrinsic and extrinsic factors. The first one is intrinsic, meaning that the artist is mindful of things they like, what do they find valuable, what is beautiful, and what is not. And they translate their opinions into their works, which forms a unique personal art style. One of my favorite artists is Egon Schiele. He has a very distinctive art style. His portraits are erotically charged. There are often no backgrounds, and human anatomy is exaggerated, sometimes even deformed. These portraits are disturbing yet intriguing. Egon Schiele's unique art style is particularly connected to his life experience as an artist. Well, I might just stop here because that's the subject for another video. People are not objects or machines. They change, they evolve, they live, and they die. One minute they might feel happy because it is the first day of spring, the sun is shining, and the air smells like freshly cut grass. The next minute they might be devastated. Because they learned their loved ones passed away, humans are emotional animals, and life is full of hazards. If our artworks is really a sincere expression of ourselves, then it will naturally be shaped by the uniqueness of the artist. The other factor is extrinsic, meaning it's not the artist who determines their art style, but art directors, art markets, collectors, teachers, or society in general. The artist is obliged to create works in a certain style to answer to specific expectations. Graphic designers, commercial illustrators are usually required to be able to adapt their styles to their clients. Illustration for a perfume company is surely different than illustration for a sportswear company. In this case, style is simply one of the marketing tools to promote a brand. It has nothing to do with the personal artistic voice of the artist. Art serves a marketing purpose. It is purely functional. So for an artist, first we have to actively cultivate our sense of beauty, be confident and honest about who we are, what do we like and what we dislike, bravely express ourselves in our artworks, so that we can develop a personal art style. On the other hand. We also need to be aware that art style is not static; it is constantly evolving as the artist growing. Moreover, art style is flexible; they can be manipulated to express different ideas. When an artist takes on a commission work, they have to more or less adapt their personal style to the needs of the client. 
Gradually, all these commission projects will slowly nurture your personal style. An artist should find a balance of intrinsic and extrinsic influences on their style. If we confine completely ourselves to our own artistic vision, we risk being disconnected from our environment. But if we adapt too much to other people's expectations, then we might lose our creative drive in the long run. In the book *The Shape of Content*, written by Ben Shang, he said, "I believe that if we're left to artists to choose their own labels, most would choose none. For most artists have expended a great deal of energy in scrambling out of classes and categories and pigeonholes, aspiring toward some state of perfect freedom." Which unfortunately neither human limitations nor the laws allows, not to mention the critics. If you are an artist crippled by the pressure to find your style, please be gentle to yourself. You are a human being who is trying your best to realize your self-value by creating art. Most of the great artists live in a constant existential crisis, and their works is the journey on which they attempt to find themselves. So keep creating, nurture your artistic vision, and don't be afraid to try new things. And your style will naturally emerge. Thank you so much for listening, my friends. If you like this video, please give me a like and consider to subscribe. It will help others to find this channel and help me to create more content. Take care. See you next time.